Don Ham. I'm a painter. I live in High River, Alberta. And I have a show here at Blue Rock Gallery in lovely Black Diamond. I've been working on a series of painting having to do with winter light and winter night. I love that transitional landscape between the prairie and the mountains. These wonderful rolling hills backdrop with mountains and the light plays across those hills. It's sort of a mental buzzing, you know, kind of uh, elevates your your sense of existence just to be able to see the way the light works on there. And of course to be there at night uh, is truly special. The quiet, the solitude, uh, the stars, uh, marvelous. Because the light in wintertime has a special character, the paintings are a little narrow in their palette, uh, selection of colors, blues, dark blues. That discipline of having a smaller palette is, a, is an interesting exercise. You only make choices in shades of light and dark. In this show I also have these fish paintings and that was another series that I started and it's the exact opposite of what these winter night, winter light landscapes are like. A very broad range of colors uh, because you're dealing with almost an abstracted image you can choose whatever color range you want. I've got golds and iridescents in them. I've grown up with fishing and fishermen my whole life. The reason I got into painting them was because one day I asked myself the question, what is the intersection between landscape and figurative? So I mused on that for a while and for reasons that aren't entirely clear to me, the answer was fish. I'm a, I'm a fairly straight up bent stick. Art was my favorite class in school, of course, and when I got to university, the most exciting years I had was when I took all art classes. I took them all. Play, photography, painting, drawing, printmaking, the works. I didn't start at full time until about 20 years ago. I turned 40 and crashed and uh, threw my fate to living in the arts. It was a decision I've always felt was the right one. With painting, I. I often think of it as every painting is like a thousand or two thousand or three thousand individual small decisions that you make on the fly so that you're always directly engaged in the process. My goal in painting, I often say to myself, is to get to do it because it just fills up your existence. I get this sort of uh, kind of warm glow in the zone sort of sensation when I'm there and time just flies. and. I really do have fun. I just find it all entertaining to my brain. I'm just trying to keep going and find out what new and varied thing I can come up with next. Uh, I'm as entertained by it as I hope other people are. It's like having a mission. That's the other thing I always like to have. If you have a mission in your life, man, everything just falls out of that. There's, uh, the questions are all answered. You just pursue it and, and uh, it's just a great quest. I guess it's all about show and tell ultimately, isn't it? You know, you do these works in isolation and then you bring them out and uh, you show them to the world. And Blue Rock Gallery, just a wonderful venue. And Karen and Chris, wonderful hosts for this type of event. I like this gallery. I like the other artists that are in here. I like their work. It's a dynamic place. I think it's, uh, you know, a jewel, uh, a jewel uh, that I hope everybody will discover sometime uh, because it's, uh, it's a great place to visit. It's stimulating just to be here and to look around, let alone show work here. Well, the nighttime shots, I mean, you always see that at night, so we're like, oh, I know what that looks like, the mountains at night. It's pretty cool. Well, this one particularly I love because it's, it's familiar country and I love the night stars, I love the snow, winter snow, I love that. Oh, it's great, and I've, I've seen some of his work over in High River. I like the landscapes, some of the landscapes over there, prairie scenes and stuff like that. It captures the feel and the mood of it. I think that's what I like about it. I like the redfish. Oh, I love his work. I like the minimalistic approach and the blues. They're beautiful. Well, I'm a big fan of Don Ham. I do have some of his artwork already. I think he's brilliant in whatever he tackles. I, like I love Don Ham. And I love to come here and just, I just love the way he captures the night and he captures the mystery and the magic. And then he's so, there's that hint of the whimsical tucked in here and there. And he's very invitational. But he's always got that 
philosophical mind at play. And, you know, so it's, all the artists are worth coming to talk to and find out what motivates them.